While the stunning and talented Amanda Seyfried has found enough success to live in the most luxurious of mansions, the home she prefers to spend most of her time in is her rustic family farmhouse in New York State. Prior to this, Amanda has lived in other properties, including a million dollar Manhattan condo and a gorgeous home in the Hollywood Hills. Amanda Seyfried is an American actress who began her career as a child model before changing her path into acting and landing her first major role on the soap opera As the World Turns in 1999, which as it turns out was something of a gong show for her. But only five years later, she would make her big screen debut as Karen Smith in one of the most successful comedies of the past few decades, Mean Girls. A film that went on to gross over $130 million. Following that success, Amanda was cast a starring role in HBO's Big Love, which would run for five seasons. Towards the end of that series, Amanda would finally lay down a ton of money for her very first home, a $1.7 million condo in New York City's Greenwich Village. Only a year later, she'd also pick herself up a home in the Hollywood Hills from her former Jennifer's Body co-star, Adam Brody. And despite how gorgeous both of those houses clearly are, where Amanda and her family really like to spend their free time is at their rustic farmhouse located in the Catskills of New York State. After all, it's not like she'd have the space for all those animals in the confines of LA or the Big Apple. Hey everyone, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment and in this one, we're looking at where Amanda Seyfried calls home. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. Back in 2010, just as Amanda's career was really coming into its own, she laid down nearly $2 million for a stylish bachelorette pad in the Greenwich Village area of New York City. Located in New York's historic Devonshire house, a favorite among celebrities including the likes of Alec Baldwin, Amanda owns a 1,500 square foot condo that boasts two bedrooms and two baths. Prior to her moving in, the home had been renovated recently and new hardwood floors were installed throughout. Now, as you can probably tell from that square footage, the home isn't exactly massive, but it does feature a very formal dining room with plenty of light thanks to a gigantic bay window. And in terms of her kitchen, while it's painted almost entirely eggshell white, except for that impressive stainless steel oven set just off center. It also features a moderately sized island with a marble countertop. After moving into this home in 2010, Amanda didn't stick around for long. Instead, she bought a new home in LA the very next year. And considering how steadily she's been employed over in Hollywood for the past decade, I kinda doubt she had much of a desire to revisit. And 2011, just as Big Love was coming to an end, Amanda decided that now it was time to buy in Los Angeles. After looking around, she found a prime piece of real estate in the Hollywood Hills, a colonial style home that she ended up purchasing for $1.85 million. Now this residence had actually been the home base for a couple different celebs prior to Amanda. First, it had been owned by Limp Bizkit's very own Fred Durst. And then, it was subsequently sold to the OC star Adam Brody in 2006. Clocking in at an epic 9,100 square feet of space, Amanda has a lot more room to move around in here, opposed to her tiny NYC condo. And guess what? In the backyard of this property, there's not only a pool spa combo and a killer sun deck, but the place even has enough grass for Amanda to set up her very own dog run should she choose. Guests stopping by for a visit get to enter through a pretty magical looking red front door and once they move inside, they'll discover a home that boasts three bedrooms, three bathrooms, and a formal dining room. In terms of the kitchen, while well, much like her NYC culinary space, it's painted eggshell white and maintains all of the necessary top of the line appliances. There's also marble countertops throughout, but interestingly enough, no prep island. A short walk from there is the cozy and comfy living room that features a rustic looking fireplace, a door leading out to the backyard, and plenty of seating options. Now, a lot like her New York condo, I'm not entirely sure how much time Amanda spends at this home. Don't get me wrong, she works a hell of a lot, so probably here often, but from what I can tell, whenever she's not needed in LA, she and her family choose to spend most of their time in an absolutely gorgeous farmhouse located in the Catskills of New York. Located just hours outside of Manhattan, the Catskills are a world apart from the skyscrapers of the big city. Here it's all about the country life and Amanda takes advantage of that opportunity whenever she can. 
Amanda purchased this home sometime in 2014 after she fell in love with the 1920s stone house and original barn nestled amongst a crop of fir trees the moment she saw it. Having recently married fellow actor Thomas Sadowski just prior to moving in, Amanda wanted to make this the perfect home to raise their new family in. In fact, according to Amanda herself, living the farm life is something she's always wanted. So to augment her dream home, Amanda hired designer Sarah Zames of General Assembly to update the interior of the place without losing any of its original character. Speaking with Vogue Living, Sarah told them about their plans. Unlike so many projects where we want to keep things open and bright, we actually wanted to keep some of the character of the house and embrace the dark and cozy nature of some of the spaces, and provide a drastic contrast with bright and light spaces in others. And that's exactly what they accomplished. Natural and authentic in character, Amanda's newly renovated home is a tribute to the home's environment and Amanda's vision. Formerly a stone house and animal barn, this property now oozes a ton of charm, having been converted into a contemporary farmhouse. So let's start with the barn. Taking a total of almost 10 months to complete, Sarah's team used custom millwork to maintain the character of the original space, but then updated everything with modernized finishing and carefully selected colors to produce a feeling of polish. In terms of what might be Amanda's fave spot in the house, well apparently it's her master bathroom, and really, who could blame her? After all, it includes a heritage bathtub, intricate tiles, timber finishes, all of which combine for that classic meets contemporary feel. Of course, the three bedrooms are all just as nice and feature a ton of detail work. Somehow Amanda and Sarah have managed to make each of these rooms feel comfy without being stuffy in any way, even with all that dark wood detailing. Must be those bright white walls. Attached to the main house is an attached barn that Amanda had transformed into what she calls the ultimate guest. Distinctly different from the rest of the home spaces, this suite has been broken down into a series of different textures, which include wood, stone, and tiling. An interesting, albeit small, kitchenette sits smack dab in the middle of the space with poured concrete countertops, a sink, and a small fridge. Meanwhile, a few feet from there is a tiny sitting area opposite a wood-burning stove. When speaking on what sets the guest house apart from the main house. Sarah explained, the cozy feel of the main house reflects Amanda's own personal style, while the guest barn boasts more modern details. Finally, there's yet another small barn located on the property, but this one Amanda has actually kept the original function for, animals. I mean, after all, she needs somewhere to put all of those horses, goats, and other furry friends, doesn't she? Since first moving into this property back in 2014, Amanda has fully embraced the farm life, and that means even the most difficult aspects of it, like when the weather wreaks havoc with your life. After an ice cream, after an ice storm blew out the family's primary generator this past winter, Amanda and Thomas had to hustle their two children into the guest barn, where thankfully the smaller backup generator was still working. Probably not something you imagine a Hollywood starlet having to deal with, right? Well, according to Amanda, she's totally fine with the trade-off. She continued to tell Kelly Clarkson, It was one of those things where it's like, this is what you do, this is what you give up, you sacrifice these things when nature happens. And going by the endless series of images and clips that Amanda likes to post of her daughter, and going by the endless series of images and clips that Amanda likes to post of her daughter enjoying her life on the farm, I imagine it's a sacrifice that Amanda is going to continue to make on a regular basis. Well, that about wraps up our Amanda Seyfried house tour, or farm tour, I guess in a sense. So what did you guys think of her homes? If you were Amanda, would you be spending most of your time in the Catskills, or in LA, or how about that condo in New York City? For me, I definitely choose the farm, especially if it came with the cute animals. Let me know in the comments down below and leave your thoughts on her homes while you're at it. I sure hope you enjoyed this look into Amanda's home life. Be sure to like and subscribe before you leave, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!